Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kayshawn, and today I'm gonna be making a dessert. So I want to make like this ultimate, just the best dessert I ever made. So I'm like, okay, let me do a brandy cheesecake chocolate chip cookie type of thing, right? That sound good, I know. So I'm like, how can I do that without it taking all day? Cause it's gonna take me 50 days to make that if I gotta bake all of that stuff. So I'm gonna finesse it a little bit and it's gonna be great. Let's get to it. Okay, so here go my little layout. I got my ingredients, all my pots and pans and bowls and stuff. So I think I'm gonna make the chocolate brownie layer first because that takes like forever to bake. They said 45 minutes, girl. Where? I don't have that much time. So I'm gonna do the brownie layer first, then the chocolate chip, and then I'm gonna move on and mix together my little no-bake cheesecake layer. Okay, so boom. Let me roll my sleeves up because it's about to get messy. Let me get down to it. It's going to be so fancy. I just, I can't wait. I can't wait. I hope it turned out right because I ain't never did this before. And I can't be wasting ingredients. But let, let's get to it. First things first. Preheat that oven to 325. Whoops. There we go. Now it's time to mix this brownie mix. So the first thing I'm going to do is dump my brownie mix into the bowl. Next, I'm gonna add my water, oil, and one egg. So, water. Mix it up. Ooh, child. They said that's all the liquid I needed to add to these brownies, but Lord, it's so hard to stir. So my pan is greased already. I'm just gonna try my best to scrape this thick brownie mix into this pan. Okay, so I took my brownies out of the oven and I only cooked them for 15 minutes because this pan, like this, it spread it out really thin, okay? So my brownies not going to be that thick, but I don't want them overcooked and I have to let them cool in the pan. So I feel like 15 minutes is good. Like, look at the edges. So I think 15 minutes was enough time and then I'm going to let them cool off and they probably just going to be just like I want them. So... Moving on. Okay, now I got my whipped cream cheese. And the reason I got whipped is because I don't plan on adding any heavy whipping cream to it. I'm just gonna add some sugar and some vanilla and we're gonna pretend it's cheesecake, okay? So I'm gonna start by putting my cream cheese into a bowl. After that, I'm just gonna add some sugar and some vanilla to taste until I think it tastes like cheesecake. So, I'm done mixing my cheesecake layer. Now I'm gonna put it in a piping bag and then I'm gonna mix up my chocolate chip cookie mix. So I only baked my chocolate chip cookie for 15 minutes too, just because I don't want, I don't like my chocolate chip cookies or my brownies 
too hard i like them nice light fluffy chewy you know the whole shebang so i'm just gonna let this cool off the brownie that's pretty much cool but the chocolate chip cookie is fresh out of the oven so i'm gonna let that cool off and then i'm gonna attempt to put this dessert together okay so now everything is cool now it's time to assemble this dessert so good see this is how i wanted to turn out look at that see i told y'all this was gonna be fancy and here is the finished dessert i think i'm called these bookie bars or brookies or something the layers Ooh, i can't wait to eat these because they look so good but these are my bookie bars